The Dolphins return to the friendly confines of Hard Rock Stadium this Sunday on the heels of a successful pair of consecutive road games and their second three-game winning streak of the season, Miami sits at 6-3, as the Cleveland Browns head to South Florida at 3-5, led by former Miami Dolphins quarterback Jacoby Brissett. The man Brissett backed up during his tenure is putting on an MVP-level 2022 campaign. Tua Tagovailoa is 6-0 when starting and completing games this season and 12-2 overall in his last 14 games. Tagovailoa has been incredible on the road this season, completing 94 of his 130 attempts, 72.3%, for 1,263 yards, 12 touchdowns, 3 interceptions and a 124 passer rating. Heading into Week 10, the Dolphins are second in the league in yards per play, 6.33 with the first being the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs just behind Miami. Tagovailoa passing at prolific pace. Since returning Week 7 on a Sunday night against Pittsburgh, Tagovailoa has posted three straight games with a 90-plus passer rating and no interceptions. He's averaging 10.54 yards per attempt on third downs this season, which is the fourth-best mark in the NFL since 1991. On third down, Tagovailoa has completed 42 of his 61 passes. 73.7%, 601 yards, 8 touchdowns and 0 interceptions. He currently owns a 147.0 passer rating on third down, which is the highest third down passer rating in a season since the NFL began tracking passer rating by down in 1991. He surpassed Hall of Famer Steve Young in his 1994 season, the season he won his Super Bowl as a starter. Tagovailoa is averaging 10.54 yards per attempt on third downs this season, which is the fourth best mark in the NFL since 1991. 2022 is just the sixth season in Dolphins history that Miami has posted at least three games of 450 plus total yards. Even with eight games left this season, Miami also accomplished the same feat in 2016, 1994, 1987, 1986, and 1984. The franchise record is seven games with 450-plus total yards in 1994. Miami went to the divisional round of the playoffs that year and nearly earned a trip to the AFC Championship game. Tyreek Hill on historic campaign, Hill has 76 receptions this season and needs 14 more to reach 90 to move into the top five in team history in single-season receptions. He also needs just 110 yards to reach 1,214 and move into the top five in team history in single-season receiving yards. Jalen Waddell has history making of his own. Waddell needs just 89 yards to reach 1,916 to set a Dolphins franchise record for most receiving yards in the first two seasons of a career, passing Jarvis. Landry's won. 915 in 2014-15. Waddle and he'll own five of the NFL's top 10 single-game receiving yard totals this season. Hill has four, and Waddle has one. This duo also has more receiving yards, 1,918, than 10 NFL teams have from their entire roster this year. Dolphins defensive notes. Melvin Ingram has three sacks in five career games against the Browns. He also has a pass defended, a forced fumble and a fumble recovery in those games. Since passes defended became a stat in 1991, Xavier Howard, 76, is about to move into fourth place on the Dolphins' all-time list. Terrell Buckley had 77. To no surprise, the top two in passes defended are his coaches in Miami now, Sam Madison, 104, and Patrick Certain, 86.